Shabbat Shalom. Welcome back to Take Time for Torah. This week is Parshat Nitzavim. Uh, we are almost to the end of the of our Torah reading, which means uh, the holidays are just about here. As a matter of fact, Rosh Hashanah begins this coming Sunday evening. Uh, services here at Beth Judah will begin at 6 p.m. And Monday and Tuesday there will be services with a great Tashlich community service uh, Monday afternoon at 5 o'clock on the beach at Fredericksburg Avenue and the beach. You know, this is an exciting time. It's a busy time. All of us are preparing for the holidays, and I hope that you have enjoyed and found meaningful the Elul preparations that I presented over the last month. Here we are, Erev, Erev Rosh Hashanah, and as we are preparing our brisket and our chicken soup, the smells through the house are amazing. It's exciting. Family and friends are coming in. People are gathering together as, a, as families and as a community. And uh, it's one of the most exciting parts of the year, and, and it's something that's really important for all of us. And I want to share with you a, a little bit. We all understand the importance of family. We all understand being together and being with each other. But let me share with you uh, my concern about um, we as a synagogue and a community. You know, very often we hear lots of excuses this time of the year why someone doesn't want to join a synagogue, and in particular Beth Judah. Some people say, well, we spend most of our winter in Florida. Why do we need to bother? My children isn't interested in religious school, so I'm not joining. Or my child finished his bar bat mitzvah. There's nothing else left for, uh, to be offered to me. Um, we only come on Yom Kippur for Yisker. Or my children are all in college and money is tight. Um, on a cost-benefit basis, it doesn't pay. It's very expensive. And my answer to all of those questions and all of those concerns is that synagogue is much more than what dues cost or much more what we as individuals want or need. As a matter of fact, my colleague Rabbi Richard Hammerman wrote something and shared it with his colleagues um, to answer this question, what is a synagogue for? He shared the following, a synagogue is a beacon for, of Judaism in the community. A synagogue is a reflection of our hopes, our values, and our aspirations. A synagogue is a place for Jews to gather for prayer, for mutual support, for celebration, and for comfort. A synagogue is a place to enrich your life, challenge your assumptions, and discomfort the comfortable. A synagogue is a place to kiddush, sanctify, and socialize together. A synagogue is a place to learn, to grow, and to reach higher heights for each generation. A synagogue is a place for family, friends, mentors, and moments. A synagogue is a vehicle to heighten your sensitivities, encourage your commitments, and expand your horizons. A synagogue is a place to create memories and to remember creation. A synagogue is a place to face the one who is called Hamakom, the place. You know, as I think about all of those reasons, I would like to add some of my own. A synagogue is a home. You see, a synagogue is a place where we celebrate all of our family's celebrations and find comfort. A synagogue to me is a, is a home where I can join together with my family, with my Beth Judah family, with my community family. It's a place where we can go in times of need and in times of joy. The importance of synagogue in our lives is that it is a focal point of our Jewish lives and of our human lives, and of our family lives. So I hope this year you will take an opportunity, you will make an opportunity to get more active and more involved in synagogue. You see, this year is a time for us to really help uh, the entire community, and we can do so through the synagogue. So please, this year, as one of your New Year's resolutions, make a commitment to yourself that you'll be more active in synagogue. You'll volunteer a little bit more. You'll help out a little bit more. You'll come to another program, another service, another minion. Whatever it is, come and be part of the community. Because I can tell you, after spending most of my life as part of a synagogue community, it is the most fulfilling thing in the world. Shabbat Shalom. Shana Tova. May all of you have a sweet and a happy new year, and may 5773 bring us the blessings of peace and prosperity and wholeness.